I decided to use an old school Nintendo Wiimote to play Nintendo Switch games and it was not what I was expecting. Throughout this video I played through games that I thought would be perfect for the Wiimote, some were great and some were just terrible. The goal of this challenge was to see whether or not the Wiimote is better than my glorious Joy-Con. Also use code FALCON for 10% off your order from Extreme Rate, that's where I got these awesome shells from. Now without further ado, it's time to begin this challenge. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to help the channel reach 1000 subscribers. Thank you and enjoy. Alright, so the first game that we're going to play with the Wiimote is New Super Mario Bros. U. I figured that this game would be like one of the best to play with the Wiimote since, you know, it came out on the Wii U. And it was meant to be played with these controls. So, we're gonna see how it goes. Alright, so we're gonna start with the Soto Jungle level. It's like the Vincent Van Gogh style. I've been meaning to play this level for a while. I don't know if the mic is picking it up, but the vibration actually works with the Wiimote, and I believe the motion controls do too, but it's not working for this game, I don't know why. But yeah, vibration works fine, it's just like playing on the Wii U. taking damage there. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that star coin. Damn it. Alright, so I just died. If you couldn't notice. And I am not even going to bother getting star coins or any of that in this level. I don't see a point in trying to do that. We got we got one at least. I think there's a way to get down here, I'm not sure. Maybe if we go through this way, but I'm not even going to try that. At least I got the one up there. Oh, and we're stuck in a loop. Darn. I think there was a secret exit we need to take that opens up this path. Yeah, it's a silhouette there. Oh, well, anyway, I think I'm gonna stop there for this game and we're going to move on to the next one. All right, the next game we're going to play is Smash Brothers Ultimate. This is another game that I think would work pretty well with the Wiimote since Smash Brothers Brawl works. Uh, that's probably the worst way to play the game, but it still works. I actually use that control scheme for a while before I got a GameCube adapter. Anyway, we're going to start a normal match. I have not played Smash normally in so long. Like, honestly, it's been months because I only play with mods. And I've gotten so used to it, I can't go back to the normal game. And I'm going to be playing terribly. Yeah, we're gonna go with uh, Captain Falcon. You couldn't already tell about my channel. Captain Falcon is my main in Smash Brothers. I know I never mentioned that, but I think I made that pretty clear. I just realized I don't have the B button. Oh, I can't even do specials. Oh my God, this is bad. 
Okay, we're gonna have to switch up some controls here. Oh, why did I even do that? Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna switch some controls and start another match. Alright, I fixed up the controls and we're going to try that again. This is so slow. Oh my. I'd be lucky enough to hit a special. We got that. Yeah, this feels just like Brawl, honestly. Like, I can't really tell the difference in the controls, not the game itself. But. Okay, there we go. Bit of a struggle there, but finally won a match. Alright, I think that's about all that I have to show for this game, so we're going to move on to the next one. Alright, the last game that we're going to be playing for this video is Super Mario Galaxy. You can probably tell why I picked this game. I think it's pretty obvious. And yeah, as you can see, the IR pointer works. It's inverted, however, which is pretty bad. So like, up is right, down is left. Left is up and right is down, which is just insane. I don't know if I can change that or not, but We'll see if we can work with it. As you can see, I am playing on the Switch. I could click the minus button. This is 3D All-Stars. And the Wiimote and Nunchuck work pretty good. But you can't like shake the remote to um, do a spin since this is registered as a pro controller and not as a Joy-Con. So that's a bit, a bit on the iffy side. It feels a bit weird, but we'll see if we can work with it. So I'm already playing a level that I beat before. I'm not even going to bother playing any new levels since those would probably require using more of the, the pointer, which is absolutely atrocious.
All right, we're gonna try this again, see if I can get a better score because I did play this level before and I failed about like five times. So it's definitely one of my least favorite levels in the game. And I messed up. Okay, we're not gonna beat it this time. Darn it. Alright, we're gonna try it again. the center, that's probably not going to work. Oh, never mind. Why did it throw that way? Oh my. There we go. That's about it for all the games that I want to show for this video. You're probably asking where's Nintendo Switch Sports? And the fact is is that I don't have that game. I'm not interested in it because I've heard it's pretty bad. And honestly I don't even know if it would work good with like a Wiimote since this is not mapped as a Joy-Con and it would not probably would not be that great to use. But other than that, uh, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And that's about it. Take care.